Hi folks, I'm Kelly Coleffel with Fivetran and today I'm going to take you through a live demo of how Fivetran and Google Cloud accelerate, automate, and standardize SAP ERP data into BigQuery for all data workloads. We have over 8,000 customers and many of them are also SAP customers. That SAP ERP data, whether it's being used with SAP ECC or S4 HANA, is critical to developing a range of data solutions, analytics, products, and applications. What I hear the most from clients is we use Google BigQuery for multiple data workloads. We'd like to use SAP ECC or SAP S4 HANA data as one of the many other data sources that we're centralizing together. We're building out new data solutions from those sources. Help me combine my SAP ERP data with customer data from Salesforce or people data from Workday or operational data from Oracle or SQL Server. And when you dig in a little bit on the biggest challenge with SAP data, at a high level, it's difficult to achieve the speed, the standardization, predictability, and self-service that you want to. Plus, SAP data sources introduce complexity along with operational sustainability and scalability issues. More tactically, SAP data is behind an application layer. It's in a data model with over 100,000 coded tables with limited change data markers, typically behind a license restriction, not to mention that the SAP basis and ABOP teams are fully subscribed on their day jobs. So we provide a range of options to help with SAP data movement to Google Cloud. We have four deployment options. Number one, Fivetran SaaS SAP ERP for HANA. This is a connector which communicates to SAP via the NetWeaver API. That's where we'll focus today. We also have a SaaS option that uses an agent-based approach for additional speed and flexibility. And lastly, Fivetran LDP is a traditional deployment model that can be run behind your firewall in a private cloud or a public cloud tenant and can be completely private deployment. LDP also covers a broad range of underlying SAP databases and specific SAP applications. So our focus today is gonna to be on the SAP ERP for HANA connector. It works with either SAP ECC or S4 HANA ERP environments. It's fully automated and fully managed by Fivetran. Also, it's an application-based replication with initial sync that happens via the NetWeaver remote function call as well as CDC via the same method. Works with SAP HANA Enterprise Cloud as well as RISE, and you can use any SAP license type, either enterprise or runtime. What you'll see today is pure SaaS, fully automated, fully managed, and everything is out of the box, ready to go with zero code and zero maintenance. And as I'll show you, Fivetran is exceptionally fast to set up and configure in just a few minutes. So let's get some SAP data flowing into Google Cloud and BigQuery right now. I have multiple data sources already flowing into BigQuery, as you can see. I've got Workday, SQL Server, and Oracle operational databases. I've got SAP ECC, Salesforce, GA4, Kafka, and S3. And we'll go ahead and add a new connector now. Fivetran has over 500 source connectors out of the box, including databases, applications, file systems, and event systems. If you look at the sources today, we'll zoom in on that. That's worth zooming in on, 501. Uh, those are growing by the day. We also have multiple options for SAP, as I talked about earlier. When I do a quick search for SAP, one thing I didn't mention earlier, we have connectors for SAP applications like Concur and Business by Design as well. Today, we'll focus on the SAP ERP on HANA connector. Fivetran engineering, product, and tech documentation teams do a fantastic job of laying out the steps to get SAP ERP data flowing quickly into Google Cloud, which you can see in the right gray navigation. The SAP ERP on HANA connector talks directly to the NetWeaver application layer of SAP. Within this app layer, you need to install the Fivetran NetWeaver API, which contains Fivetran's SAP ABOP functions, and you can simply use your company's default method for that. As with all Fivetran connectors, you name the destination schema, and the schema and tables do not have to be created ahead of time in BigQuery. I'm providing the SAP NetWeaver host identifier, username, password info, as well to that NetWeaver instance so that Fivetran can authenticate. I'm also going to use SSH to connect to SAP, but you can have other connection methods, including reverse SSH and VPN. And remember, all data in motion is encrypted, and any data at rest that sits ephemerally in the Fivetran service is also encrypted. Once we've moved the data and done our checks, we don't maintain the data in the Fivetran service. We simply maintain a cursor to the sync point for the next incremental sync to capture changes. Let's hit save and test and Fivetran will confirm my SSH key and then run the rest of the checks to the SAP ERP system for me.
SAP ERP has over 100,000 tables. I don't need them all to create the data set and ultimately build out the analytics data product for this scenario. So today I'm going to create my data set based on the SAP materials management tables. These SAP tables store and manage materials and inventory management information, which includes procurement, inventory, and vendor interactions. I'm going to take general material data, material descriptions, and units of measure for material, and that is going to form the basis of my data set for today. So that's the MAKT, MARA, and MARM tables. Once I have those selections saved, that's it. I'm ready to start syncing my SAP ERP on HANA data to BigQuery. Remember, not only will Fivetran move the SAP data set we just selected, the historical sync, but if there are any changes to those tables or columns, CDC is automatically set up for you. It's 100% no code so that any incremental changes are captured as well at whatever schedule you prefer. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. I'm going to flip over to the left gray navigation, go to transformations for a minute. Fivetran provides some terrific integration with DBT, including quick start data models, which allow you to automatically produce analytics ready tables using our pre-built models. Then you can transform your data with no code, no DBT project or any third party tools at all. So transformations include integrated scheduling. They automatically trigger model runs following the completion of Fivetran connector syncs. And you can always monitor all of the data movement uh, from a DAG. For SAP, we have both a DBT source package and a DBT transformation package you can use with your own DBT project. And we give you ready to use models for automating the loading of company attributes, customer master data transactions, GL master data, and vendor attributes, just to name a few. Our standardized all SAP ERP to BQ connectors now in the list with all the others, and I've access to all those data sources now in BigQuery. The initial sync completed while we were taking a look at transformations, and we can check out the metrics on that sync. Looks like it is one minute and five seconds total, and you can see the extract process and load times. Across the top navigation area, I want to take a look at my schema, and I can also see usage. Uh, all five trans syncs are free, along with 14 days of incremental syncs. Usage information will show up after seven days. Uh, let's jump over to the setup page. I mentioned that incremental CDC for this SAP ERP data set is automatically set up, and we default the sync frequency to six hours. But you determine what you want that to be based on your requirements, anything from one minute to 24 hours or anything in between. Before we jump out to BigQuery to take a look at the new data set, remember that we name this connector Standardize All SAP ERP to BQ. I'm in the BigQuery project that is assigned to this Fivetran destination, and you can see the Workday, Salesforce, Oracle, SQL Server, GA4, and other existing SAP ERP data sets that are already there. I'll refresh my BigQuery project and jump into the new data set that Fivetran just created. So there are our three tables that Fivetran moved over, and the key thing is that we're providing a faithful one-to-one -one representation of the SAP source data to Google BigQuery for analytics. The data is organized, it's understandable, and it's ready to be worked with, enriched, and transformed. Using the BigQuery SQL Editor, I'll run a quick select statement on that MAKT table to check that data set. I want to go back out to now the Fivetran UI. I want to add the MBEW table, which is material valuation. I want that table for the data product that I'm building later on. Additionally, within my material descriptions table, MAKT, I've decided that I want to hash the MAKTG column for additional data privacy and anonymization. You can apply hashing to any PII columns that you have in your SAP ERP data set that you don't want persisted over to BigQuery. We'll maintain a key so that you can still use that column in your downstream analytics workflow. Quick note, also look for auto PII detection coming real soon. I can also block any tables that I want at this time as well. Those data set changes will be automatically moved over to BigQuery. So from here, I'll refresh my BigQuery project, and there is my new MBEW material valuation table. And I'll do a quick data preview of the MAKT material descriptions table that you can see Fivetran has now hashed the MAKTG column to give me that additional data privacy that I needed for this data set.
It's just that easy to ensure that any and all data movement with Fivetran is standardized and predictable across any data source you have, plus each of those pipelines is reliable, scalable, secure, and fully automated and fully managed. If you'd like to discuss your requirements for moving SAP ERP data or over 500 other data sources simply and reliably into BigQuery, please do reach out. You can also kick off a free 14-day trial. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care.